Hey guys, uh, I got another great shave for you. Uh, we've got our Cooper razor with our Persona blade, a Bylong brush, and a Toja stick. I've already started applying the um, uh, shave soap so we can make this video go a little bit faster. Uh, dip the tip of the soap in the water and then just rub it on the face. There we go. There we go. Oh, y'all, it has been busy, crazy busy at work lately. Just absolutely insane. All right. We've got our brush here. It's been soaking for a few minutes. We're going to bristles out. And again, this is a Vilong. It is made in Spain. And we're using a Spanish cream or Spanish soap, so I figured it was appropriate. Uh, if anybody knows anything about these Cooper razors, I would love to know about them. Don't know much about it, but it's a good shaving razor. Do you have to make sure that the um, blade is lined up correctly? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But it does turn on the posts. I suspect it was designed to be used with a older style blade, not the thin ones. I could be wrong. What do I know? As you can see, this horsehair brush works just fine. Still stinks. Stinks to high heavens. Works just fine. A little bit of water just on the tips here. There we go. The scent of this soap, nothing to write home about. It just smells like soap, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, if you can get a nice scent off of it also, it's a good thing. Scent doesn't matter for performance, it's just nice. You know, it's like having a automatic windows in the car versus manual windows. You got windows that roll down, but having automatic windows is nice sometimes. Unless you're old and you like fuzzy, then you want manual windows, but that's another discussion for another day. All right, so as you can see, my long brush is done just fine, whipping up a lather. Nothing to complain about. Okay, here we go. There's the razor. I'm going to dip the razor into the water, get it good and warm, because I don't like cold steel on my face. I'm not a masochist. If you are, that's cool, but I'm not. All right, this is about a day's worth of growth. Uh, this is a Persona blade. If, for some reason, this blade starts to tug and pull, we will change the blade. I don't remember how many shaves are on this blade, so I apologize. And this Cooper razor has always been a good razor. It's always been a good shaver. I've not had problems out of it. Uh, I would like one day to own a Cooper Mono built. That is a single edge. Um, that's my unicorn razor. Haven't found it yet for a price that I want to pay. It's my uh, windmill razor. It's a Don Quixote reference in classic literature. My uh, white whale razor, as you could say. More classic literature. Anyway, um, but the Cooper does a great job. I mean, you know, it's a, definitely a sleepy, a sleeper when it comes to well-known brands. Most people seem to prefer, you know, uh, Gillette, obviously, which is fine. Um, but don't sleep on these old Coopers, okay? Uh, I actually found this one in an antique store. Uh, in Navasota, Texas. Uh, they wanted $2 for it. I told them, they asked me, well, why do you want that little thing? And I said, well, I just think it'd be cool for aesthetics. I've got a uh, kind of a uh, 
deal going on with turn of the century, uh, you know, early 40s. Turn of the century to early 40s uh, memorabilia. I just kind of think it's cool and kind of collect that stuff. So, you know, I didn't want to tell them that it was a Cooper and it shaves really well. I wouldn't think I was crazy or something. Can't have that. Anyway, so I uh, found that when you tell people sometimes uh, why you want these razors to shave with them, suddenly they become a whole lot more valuable than they were originally. All right, so as you can tell, that's the first pass. It is uh, super efficient. Very good razor. Very good razor. All right, second pass here. <sighs> Work has been crazy. Uh, I normally do eight hour shifts. I know there's lots out there that do 12s and 16s, uh, but I normally do eights. Um, I did a 13 yesterday, and then I did an eight today. So I'm a little tired, but a good shave. Perk me right up. There we go. And it's nothing that this brush can't handle to go in circles, I promise. If you haven't ever used a horsehair brush, I do highly recommend it. This is a, again, by long, uh, made in Spain. Probably, I think they, they are the only manufacturers of these. I'm sure there may be somebody else out there making them, but they're like the like best manufacturer that I can find for them. All right, second pass. Here we go. It's kind of a modified across against pass. I don't know how the weather or how the uh, allergies are where y'all are, but my allergies are killing me. Down here in my neck of the woods in Texas, we've got oak, hackberry, and mulberry going on right now. It's killing me. There we go. Like I said before, this is uh, a pretty good little razor. People definitely sleep on them, but you should definitely go out and pick yourself up one. If they are um, mechanically sound, they're good razors. Oh, I got myself a little bit right there. Huh, okay. Alrighty, there you have it. That was a good shave. Uh, so tonight uh, we are going to finish up with uh, little Harry's Pro Shave Bomb. I know that's probably sacrilege to everybody out there, but I like it. It does have an SPF in it. So it makes my skin feel good and it protects my skin while I'm outside. Uh, All right, there you have it. There's the Bylong Cooper and Matoja shave. Hope y'all enjoyed. I appreciate y'all sticking around and watching. It's a good, uh, good shave tonight. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have great shaves, and uh, we'll talk to y'all real soon. Take care.